have read to us. Mr. Speaker, at that point alone, the public will not really ha have confidence in what we are doing unless probably the president came and first of all made the changes. He has the appeal to do that. But what the public knows of the people we are going to vet is actually what he announced. Now, what we are going to vet now is totally different. Mr. Speaker, what the people believe, whether they are right or wrong, is important. People act from their belief. And when they were running and attacking at the, the National Assembly, it is arising from their deep belief that we do not represent their interest, we are not credible to them. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, I find, and you really need to clarify this, why the list you have read to us is different from what the President read. We are starting from a very weak point on that basis alone, Mr. Speaker. We really need to preserve this country, and particularly this House. The challenges are going to be bigger. Leave alone the issue that you, you dismiss people and then you bring them back. The question is, why did you dismiss them in the first place? But leaving thank that you, aside, Mr. Speaker, that, that credibility is required. We should have the same list, Mr. Speaker. Honorable, uh, Honorable Dr. Nikal, as a House of Parliament, we are a House of Record. And the record we have is a communication from the executive office of the president. And it must be in writing and signed by the president. And it is 